and we are live. What's happening? Porch sessions with James, James Youngster, baby. That's What's right. Happening? So I know you as my dude. Yes, sir. I, I know you as my friend and rap and friend in life. So, but tell everybody else who you are, where you from, and all that good stuff. Man, I'm James Youngster. From Watsonville, but a lot of people get that confused. I've been all over the damn place. I've been more places than people probably been in clothes. I was in Dago, nigga, Oregon, Hayward, Fremont, Hollister. Shit, too many other cities. I was just leave them out because I'm wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Feel me? Okay. Yes, one love me here in 81, bringing it back to my roots. Okay. So what do you do? Because you're on the porch. Obviously, you do music. But that's, that's yeah. <laughs> I gang bang. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I trap, I rap. A single parent, handle my folks, my founder, CEO of my company, with happy, sneaky, cartoon, little soldier, free that little nigga soon, Cisco Price, Desperado, you know what I'm saying, that's how we get down, just out here trying to live, huh? I got my hands in everything, for the people on low, you know, I'm the homeboy shopping network, you need it, I got it, iPhones, phones, everything, holla at me, TVs, got you, yeah, I'm my hands in anything, if you make some money, you gotta get it, nowadays, jobs ain't fucking with niggas like me. Scarred and tattooed from the block, so yeah, we gotta get it any way we can. And if you can't get it the legal way, cause going way too hard, nigga, in the pen ain't getting no money, ain't getting no pussy, and you ain't helping your kids in there either. So, real talk, man, be out here and get that shit. Every homie has a homie that gets money, so if you're smart and not lazy, hit that homie up and prove to him that you can get money, and then you get money. Quit bullshitting yourself, nigga, cause get, make money, don't make excuses. Leave it at that. Okay, okay. So in regards to music, you said the name of it is Money Hungry? Yes, sir. Okay. Where can they find some of your music at? Who have you, who, what, who have you worked with? Man, I've worked with Quinn, it's McDirty. JT and Quinn brought me up hella years ago. I was like 15, showed me the ropes, actually writing bars. I just didn't know how to freestyle. I just knew how to count bars in my head, but really didn't know what they was. Mm -hmm. After that, swung a little time, much up to Gold Toes, laced me on a lot when I was with this Latin. Fucking with Burner and Jimmy Roses and all them, learned a lot. Fucking with Strong Arm Entertainment. Wow, fucking uh, China's cabinet, San Ho back in the day. That nigga Lace Man, we was fucking with Dats, you know, Data Files, nigga. You little young niggas, they lucky this Pro Tools shit, nigga. You don't even know how much money you saving. <laughs> but yeah, man, I done fuck with basically everybody I could that I've liked. Dewey, Hollow Tip, uh, Snow Product just got signed. Much ups to you. Uh, all 831 Gambit producer DJ Puma B Maker Street certified. You know, of course, my nigga Lero, 10 years deep friends, homie for rap. And uh, a lot of my shit means me friends before rap on a lot of shit because a lot of rappers watered down fake and just a lot of niggas being cool because they got pro tools. So fuck it. I don't even fuck with y'all, nigga. And that's why I'm charging you niggas. And you know who you are, you got charged, nigga. Thank you for paying my bills, though. Okay. My daughter's sweater looks very nice. You know what I'm saying? Cool, nigga. Okay, so what do you look for when you work with other artists? I, I'll say a vibe because I, I actually can't call it till I'm with you and that's why a lot of time I hate this email shit nowadays because I actually got into conversations or emails about how shit was re remastered, remixed and they didn't like how I cut something out. Well, that was your fault for not manning up and meeting me like a real nigga. Second of all, yo, I just look for real niggas. I've been to studios with niggas I used to like as a kid going there and these niggas conceited. Are they any who they say they were as far as I used to uh, listen to raps and think who I thought they was? They was fake as fuck, weren't about none, or they was too cocky. I'm gas, I'm gas, so I'll light you up, nigga, because you ain't shit. Don't ever forget as a rapper who pays your bills and those feature people that pay your money show respect because without them, you ain't gas, nigga. You could just be in the fucking tank and no one's pumping, so we don't give a fuck. Remember, respect goes far in this game. Network. Show the people respect. For all you little niggas trying to come up, and I see it too much out here in 81, quit crying, nigga. All these artists, look at their age. They're 27, 28, 30 years old. They pay dues. 15 years. You're about 15 years old, homie. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't going to break bread, you ain't going to get ahead. You feel me? Like, don't complain. That's the number one rule. Wipe your tears. You want tissues? I'll get the violin and cry in the motherfucking river, homie. Ain't shit for free in this world. Show respect for beat makers. For the producers, because without them, we ain't got shit. It's just like crack for a rapper, you feel me? Oh, we yeah. ain't eating without it. So just start showing more respect. All you little young cats, cool, you got a camera and you got more videos than us, but they look low quality, and your raps are real garbage, nigga, which means you're never going to blow up because you're too eager, and you ain't showing respect no one, which means we already know people that you don't know. We can shut you down at any minute. So always show respect to everyone, we'll give it back, and you just got to earn it. It just works like that with any business and a job. You get hired, you got to start when you work good. So as a rapper, you coming in this shit, and the sad part is you niggas coming up too easy because you got too much equipment now to make it. Your mom just got her income tax and bought you a fucking computer and a mic, and you a rapper today, nigga. And how old are you, 27, 28, nigga? Come on, bud. We've been doing this since we were 13, 14 because we lived the life besides rap about it. So most of you niggas that doing this shit now, 
and you find people like that, and like all of a sudden your friend, 15 years later now he raps, nigga, because he busted the flow in the backyard and people pumped him up, and juiced him too high. Little drinking. Come on, man. Tell your girlfriend, does she love you? Look her dead in the eye and say, Am I good? And I guarantee you, if she really loves you, she tell you, Suck, quit doing it, and go back to work and get overtime. <laughs> it needs to stop. It needs to stop. That's all I'll say about that. Okay. But I fucks with everyone. Everyone knows me. I fucks with y'all. I got you. <laughs> so you got. You got anything where people can, uh, I know you got a, uh, let's see, they can get locally. You, do you ship out? You ship your, your... I ship out CDs. You can find me on iTunes starting today. I don't know what time because I'm not too educated. <laughs> but uh, you can find me in Dimples and Sack, all the street light records, like everywhere. Basically, uh, Raz Buens, all your local mom and pop stores, So Fresh, and Santa Cruz, Street Beats, and fucking Salas. Metro, uh, Metropolis and Hollister, the goddamn flea markets and off Barrios, I'm there in that bitch too, nigga. I'm about my shit. If not, just holler at me. I'm straight out the trunk and I'm on the block. I'm a real nigga, so I'm out here all day. I don't hang out in the studio all day and think of rhymes, nigga. I, I live it before I spit it, so. That's the way it's supposed to be. Yeah, but it ain't like that. No, you right. It's not. Yeah. I want to make a major shout out, Phil. I actually, I done seen your interview. You was like the most realest nigga. I want to send a shout out to and everyone else there, Profile Inc. The one, my niggas, Bilderberg, my niggas, Sin, Gambit, my nigga, he do all my shit. You need graphics, hot that nigga, he's my boy. He's pretty much the rawest nigga I've seen around a minute. Fucks with him, yeah. Also, coming soon, Dirty West, Lero, James Youngster, aka Muggsy now. Youngster's pretty much gone, too old for that. Uh, Muggsy ain't happy, getting money, mobbing all day. That'll be out next month. Money Hungry came out today, February 21st. It's out. Holla at me. It's out everywhere, pretty much. I got everybody on that bitch. Also coming out, Yellow Tape Team, me and Explicit. Mac Man and Mobbing, me and Ruckus from Sacramento. I'm doing a lot of shit. Mac I stay Man. busy. And uh, you want to fuck it, boys, get at me. You need help with anything, this shit. I'm really not too fucking shy to help anyone out. I'm not one of those dudes. I've been in this game, believe it or not. You accept or reject it. I will help. I'm a good dude. Holla at me one time. But... They do also need to understand something about you. What's when happening? you're being a dick, you're not being a dick in regards to to just try to clown somebody. You're just being honest because you've been that person in that situation. Yeah, my whole label, all my over. artists, I laced all them up, and uh, you can listen from their CD from a year to now. Just it's just. No, any... I mean person to person. Like if somebody hits you up on some advice, they'll be like, "Man, this dude's an asshole." He is, but listen to what he says. Yeah, like, I'm not really too much of an asshole, but first he's hit me up, let you know who you are. Besides, just ask me and throw me on a loop like you expect something from me. I think a lot of people do that to everybody. I have heard it from numerous artists. People hit him up and they just come at you wrong. Just kind of say hi to somebody and introduce yourself and then be like, "Hey, you know, I heard you cool. Lace me up on some, but yeah, man, we come through, blow on, you know, snun if you drink, holler, you know, what I'm saying whatever." We do it all. I'll talk to you. It's nothing. Yeah, just come right. That's all I gotta say. Just come right. Quit crying. Everyone's crying these days. You know what I'm saying? Well, I see they think people hitting up sin for free. Sin's an established artist out here sincere. Pay the nigga. I mean, come on, man. You gotta look at where, where dudes paid. You know what I'm saying? Well, and there's a difference between... I'll give you the difference between me and you. I got a job. You have a job. Yeah. For two my, different kinds of jobs. Yeah, we two, both do yeah. music. Yeah. You, wait, you make way more money off your music than I do. You eat. Like, like... Speak of the devil. Yeah, yeah. The phone's going off. <laughs> yeah. Like, <coughs> well, like you said about sin. If sin's somebody who eats off his music, definitely, definitely. The respect that somebody has to show is, hey, look, um, I know you eat, so let me. I might not be able to buy you a motherfucking five course meal, but you want to run over here and let me get you something instead of just, hey, what's yeah. up? You want to get on something? Yeah, you gotta understand, niggas got kids now. We got, we're actually busy with our music, and why are you gonna throw us a beat? Us pay for your studio time, do a verse for you, and you ain't or, paying us. Okay, there's okay, another cause way. Because half the rappers ain't got a studio, so it's like we go to our homie, we gotta pay him for our hour, but for your song, which makes no sense. Which I'm gonna give you 100 percent no matter what, cause I don't come faulty, but it's. It's just respect level, you know what I mean? Like I'm saying, like, it's just, come on, man. You got to see what, what dudes are doing. Basically, it's going to benefit you to rap a song like us. You know what I'm saying? We have a name, so it's a feature for you, and you're and it's from your own town. And eventually, if you cool with us, you don't pay no more. You well, made a friend, and that's where you pay to get in that door. You take that risk, that's your advertisement. You just said it right there, too, though. If you don't know the dude as a friend, yeah. business-wise, you don't go to most business. You don't go to McDonald's saying, hey, what's up? Let me get that number seven for free right there. Yeah, like, you, know, you have to advertise. You, I'm going to yeah. spread the hustle for you. You pay seven. 
Yeah. I mean, you pay the money for the number seven, mm-hmm. and then after a while, dude's like, you know what, man, I got you. Yeah. That's what you're saying. Yeah. You got you got to get, man, I paid, I paid, I ain't lying, I paid 500 for half the rappers when I was a kid. I paid it. I didn't give a fuck. Look at me now. I ain't like the famous dude. I don't have big old pad. I don't front. You know what I mean? Sometimes I'll right. fake it to make it back in my day. I don't rock my shit no more, but I'm being real with 100%. I pay my dues, and I could go to more than just this town, and I'm fucking known. And that's a lot more said for a lot of people when they leave their town because a lot of people say everyone's got their own hip-hop clan, their own street clans in every city, right? But it's who's the nigga that steps out of there. Like, I'm not scared to leave my town to be known somewhere else. Thank you. Compared to dudes like, nah, I don't want to leave here because I don't know who's going to go to my show. I'm not known out there because you didn't make that effort. You didn't spend that 500 to get a feature from a main dude that you knew at that studio you were going to run into seven other artists there that he fucks with and make a friend. From when they meet you that point, you drink with them, you smoke with them, or whatever you guys clicked on, it's called a vibe. You vibe with that nigga, and then you dope enough and have confidence in yourself, which I think is why no one pulls money out. You lack confidence. You only put more than 20 CDs out because you're scared you won't even make money back now. Come on, bro. You're spending 20 years in a booth, but not $20 on your own fucking career? Come on, wow. man. You got to step that shit up 100%. I, I take that risk to go out there because you got to sell your game. Music turned into a business now. It You see, we all see it. There's too many fake niggas. It's a business now. Learn the business. Hustle, motherfuckers. This game is word to mouth. If you have no word to mouth, no friends, no people's woo woo, what do you, there's no advertisement. There's mm-hmm. no name. No production. Which means you got to hit up your cousins out of town. Blast my flyers all through your high school. Man, get your name out. Even if you don't take the fucking CD out there, someone's going to bug the fuck out of them. Like, who is that? Which means they remembered your name. That's right. You just got known. You need to step it up. That's just it. Money, it's all money, and don't say, well, I don't have money. Well, go find a fat bitch, because she got a fat bank account. Nigga, quit being embarrassed. Nigga, hide that bitch at night. Get that money and put it in your account when it's light. You feel me? It's nothing. You step it up. It. So you got anything extra you want to say before you go? Well, usually I talk a lot, but today I'm extra high. Not really. <laughs> I got to okay. go pick up some more money. <laughs> all right well i appreciate yeah. you being on there yeah much love to 81 like i said shout out to all the labels everyone i got love for everyone no hate fuck what you heard if you heard it because you'd hear from me if it was a problem i got love for 81 c's up dubs high out of here port sessions yeah.